Hey everybody, what we're going to be tying today is a little smoky mountain pattern called the Renegade. It's a dry fly pattern that uh, everybody should have three or four in their box for one of those, some of those days where, you know, the normal patterns don't work. You look for something, a little variation maybe to fool the trout. Uh, it's a real simple little tie and it can be tied from anywhere from a 14 down to a 20. I like the size 18, but for the purpose of this class, we're going to be using a 16. Uh, just a little easier to tie. So, what we're going to have is a lightning strike hook, a dry fly hook, size 16. We have him using uni thread, 8 aught, okay, black. Now you could also use brown or olive. I'm uh, going to use some peacock curl, okay. Then we're going to be using two different two different types of dry fly hackle. One is a white, okay size to the hook and on the last on the tail end of the fly we're gonna have a brown brown feather so let's get the time now of course the first thing we're going to do is start our thread on the hook and just start just a fourth of the way back and just kind of go back for you either snip it or just pull it off i'm going to take that all the way back to the barb Point, what we're going to do is we're going to take our brown hackle feather. We're going to strip a little bit off off the ends of this thing, so we get a little purchase here. I'm just going to tie this baby in. Just like that, and come back to basically where the barb is. Right, just about like that. Now we're going to tie in a couple. We're going to take a couple peacock pearl feathers, or pearls, and uh, we're going to snip them, just kind of even them up, get down to the good part of the, the hurl, and we're just going to tie this in. Okay, just like that. We'll go all the way back behind the eye of the hook, and we're going to come back. And what we're going to do is we're going to just basically come back all the way to the barb, and then we're going to go back up maybe a fourth of the hook. Okay, about like that. We're going to we're going to do is we're going to tie make three or four wraps with this peacock curl, just like that. Okay. Kind of tie that down to secure it. A couple wraps. Get many more than that, you tend to end up cutting the hurl. So I'm going to come back on this side of it. Now we're going to take the brown hackle and make three or four wraps with this right over that peacock hurl. And if you get five, it doesn't really matter. I just make it a little dense. There we go. So we got what we want here. We'll come over. Between the hurl and the hackle, and we're just gonna secure that just like that. Two wraps, maybe three. I'm gonna come on this side of that peacock curl and just tie it down right there. Then we're gonna snip this. There, just like that. Now we're gonna take the thread, we're gonna advance it to Maybe another another half the hook. Basically, it's about a quarter behind a quarter of the hook behind the eye. Okay, I'm going to take this peacock curl, and if you want to, you can either make a rope out of it, or you can take and actually use a little Sally Hansen's, which we're going to do here. And I'm just going to coat the hook with the with it. Um, just and what that's going to do is going to secure that peacock curl a little bit. So when we tie it around and. Uh, it, just tends to help the longevity of the fly. It will make it last just a little bit longer when the trout start chewing on it. So then what we're going to do is we're just going to take this and we're going to just wrap peacock curl making a body with it right down to about here. Oh, let's go one more. There we go. And we'll come back to the thread just a little bit. And what we're going to do tie this down right here 
just like that. Okay. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna come up here just a little ways. Gonna make a couple more wraps with a peacock curl. So just behind the eye of the hook. And what that's gonna do is just gonna coat the hook with that hurl. And you'll see in just a minute what we're up to here. I'm gonna come over, I'm gonna secure it right here, right behind the eye. Just gonna tie that off. Then we're gonna take our white hackle, just like this. And I'm gonna take and we're gonna come back to a fourth of the way, just like that. Tie that in just like that. You just the barb on that so it's not gonna get in your eye. Alright. And you just come three or four wraps right here. it off, trim that down, trim some of these hoot hats out of here before we tie it on. There we go. Okay, now all that's be left is the whip finish, and by golly, we'll be done. You go the renegade good little pattern for some kind of slow day sometimes it's just a good pattern period so enjoy 